Hello YouTube. Uh, what I have here in front of me, finally, after about uh, two months of waiting, I think, since I put the pre-order in, is the Raspberry Pi single board system on a chip computer. Um, this is getting a lot of attention in the press recently, ever since its announcement really towards the end of last year, uh, about the Raspberry Pi Foundation uh, plans to release this small little computer unit uh, on a circuit board. Um, available basically for the open source community to uh, to do what they please software wise and the idea is to promote programming again bring back the um, the art of um, bedroom programming etc for kids etc and that kind of stuff and for teaching of computing for third world countries etc that doesn't cost an arm and a leg so this is the like I said the Raspberry Pi it's called it comes in the UK for about I think it's about 35 30 pounds and it's an ARM Cortex uh, single core processor, 700 megahertz. Um, with a it's manufactured by Broadcom with a Broadcom video core for GPU and 256 meg of RAM. There's no hard drive or anything else attached to it. It all runs off an SD card. And basically after that operating system wise you're looking at Linux. Uh, there are Fedora and Debian and other different variants in, in, in progress at the moment. Um, and we're just going to unbox it and let's have a look. So. This should have been out about, I think it's it's now, it came to me on the 5th of May 2012. Uh, it should have been out about a month earlier, I think. Um, but what happened was, although the device got manufactured, it didn't get this stamp of approval, the CE mark. Um, so as you can see, they've literally just stuck a sticker on the box to say that it's now uh, got that stamp of approval. Um, so let's unbox it and see what we get inside. Okay, so that's it in the box. Raspberry Pi regulation, compliance and safety information. Don't need to worry about that. Different compliance safety marks, etc. Where you can get raspberrypi.org information. And that's that. Okay. So this is the Raspberry Pi. And as you can see, it is absolutely tiny. So if I try and focus in on a little bit, you can see the two chips on there. The Broadcom chips and the whole open circuit board of course right now it's an open circuit board there will be an official housing I think that comes out later in the year and they will be releasing it in that housing again towards the end of the year but for now it's an open uh, circuit board if you go on eBay you can get different housings for it which I might have to invest in uh, but let's give you a, a quick look around the actual device and let's point out a few features so on the side straight away we've got the 5 volt micro USB power slot so your one of your phone adapters for your Blackberry etc will charge this device uh, it will work off USB as well um, USB direct into your computer etc HDMI slot for full 1080p output with sound I believe as well um, here we got Ethernet jack two USB slots this is the Model B of the Raspberry Pi. There is a £10 cheaper version, the Model A, which doesn't include the Ethernet port and only has one USB slot, so why you would go for the Model A is beyond me. Uh, we've got headphone jack, composite RCA adapter for uh, another video output. Again, you probably won't use that. And a couple of headers here for whatever reason, I'm not quite entirely sure myself. And on the back, we've got the SD card slot. And the rest of the circuitry of the actual system itself. So to put this into comparison, for instance, with a BlackBerry, I've got a BlackBerry Curve here. Got some dirt on it, and there you go. It's actually smaller than the BlackBerry Curve. Although, obviously, with the Ethernet port, it's a bit taller. But, I mean, this thing is tiny. Absolutely tiny. Let me just focus in a little bit on it. I'll show you to you. So, like I say, it comes. Uh, there are different flavors of Linux out there. The main, th the reason I'm particularly interested to play with this is for media play playback capabilities and to see what it can do. Already, uh, if you haven't heard about the XBMC project, you should look it up. Uh, it's based off the old Xbox, the original Xbox Media Center, and it's a full-on media um, center for all of your different media types: your music, your videos, etc., all that kind of stuff. Uh, but with the HDMI slot it will process 1080p H.264 video accelerated uh, off this chip itself, this Broadcom system on a chip for full, uh, I think, 30 frames per second playback of uh, 1080p video. 
So I'm interested to see how well that actually works. Uh, other non-accelerated, uh, uh, so anything that might be in like a, an XFID or a DivX codec, etc., like that, that will only use the actual 700 megahertz um, G CPU core of the system might struggle. But uh, H.264 is, uh, is um, GPU accelerated on this particular device, so I'm interested to see how well that works. Um, but for now, what I'm going to just do is to turn it on. So I've just got the mouse and keyboard adapter for my Logitech. What else have I got here? So HDMI port and SD card, which I've already installed, just the the Debian flavor of uh, of Linux onto it. I'm just going to boot up Linux basically. I'm not going to do much much else with it for now, anyway. And as a special tester, you'll notice in the, you can get lots of these little adapters these days. Um, just power packs so you know USB power packs that you can take around with you in case you've run out of battery somewhere for your phone or this that and the other device and for fun I'm just going to use this to power the, um, the Raspberry so you can actually take this a fully fledged computer running Linux um, and have it powered off a power pack as well plugged into your HDMI output so let me just adjust this slightly Okay, let's see what we get out of this then. So this is the Raspberry. This is my uh, power pack if I just mind the cables. And if I turn the power on, I get a power light on the Raspberry. And an activity light. The monitor is about to come on. And there we go. And it's booting up Debian Linux. There's no GUI on this at the moment, it's literally just uh, command prompt. This is a first time boot so it's just going to run through Raspberry Pi one off initialization. And that's it, as you can see there's there's no heat sinks or anything like that, there's no fans on it, it doesn't overheat. Um, so there's no need for any kind of continual airflow over device, so it's, it's also perfectly quiet. You can't hear anything. I wonder how long it's now going to restart, apparently. And it's running through again. So you can see your power light up here, a, a red power light, and beside that you've got an OK light. If I can just kind of focus in on that. There's your link lights, etc. for your Ethernet, and the OK light seems to be when it's ac accessing the actual um, SD card. So it's powered up now, and I've just got a Raspberry Pi login screen, which I believe... The username is Pi and the password is Raspberry. And there we go. At the root command of the uh, Debian version of Linux and the Raspberry Pi. So that's the unboxing of the Raspberry Pi. Uh, I'm going to spend some more time playing with it and see what I can find out with it. And um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching and please rate and subscribe.